The GST council has given specific tax rates for certain goods and services. So when you are supplying such good or a service, it is easy to determine the tax rate. What about when you are supplying a bundle of goods or a bundle of good and a service? So in such cases, to ease the difficulty, a concept known as composite and mixed supplies has been brought about. So we shall discuss the concept of composite and mixed supplies in this video. First, we will see what is composite supplies. There are essentially two conditions to be satisfied for a supply to be a composite supply. The first condition being the combination of taxable supplies of goods or services or both, which are naturally bundled and supplied in conjunction with each other, out of which one is a principal supply. And these are supplied in the normal or ordinary course of business. So this is the first condition. Coming to another condition, these supplies cannot be sold separately. We shall understand this concept easily with the help of a few examples. Starting with the simplest example, we can say, when we buy a cup ice cream, we get a wooden spoon along with the ice cream. So here, it is a combination of two or more goods, which are supplied in conjunction with each other. Here we can clearly distinguish which one is the principal supply. The principal supply is the ice cream and not the wooden spoon. The wooden spoon is supplied only because you are buying the ice cream. Moving to another example, let us see. When you buy an LED television, you get a remote, warranty and installation services along with the television. So suppose you, the value of the television is rupees 50,000 and uh, GST at the rate of 12%, you are paying 56,000 for the whole television remote warranty and the installation services so we can say whole thing is a single package for a single price the principal supply here is the predominant element of the supply the predominant element here is the led television and not the remote or the warranty the second condition that we saw is that they cannot be sold separately the warranty is not sold separately the remote is not sold separately it is sold only because you are buying the LED television. Going to another example, when you buy a Rajdhani train ticket, you get free meal services along with your ticket. The principal supply is the transportation of the passenger which is taxed at 5%. Because you are buying the ticket, because you are traveling, you are getting free meal services along with it. So to sum up, we know for a supply to be a composite supply, there are essentially two conditions. If either of them do not satisfy, it is not a composite supply. Now we shall see what is mixed supply. We saw that there are essentially two conditions to be satisfied for a supply to be a composite supply. If either of the two conditions are not satisfied, then it will be a mixed supply. So in the simplest terms we say, anything that is not a composite supply is a mixed supply. So what is the meaning of mixed supply? Two or more taxable supplies of goods or services are both, which are supplied in conjunction with each other which are deliberately bundled and not naturally bundled and they are capable of being sold separately. Quoting a simplest example of mixed supply, we shall see an example of Cadbury celebrations. What has the company done? It has mixed a various varieties of chocolates and biscuits together to form a single package for a single price. Are the chocolates and biscuits not capable of being sold separately? Of course not. They can be sold separately, but they are deliberately bundled to form a single package. So such supplies will form mixed supplies. Under this, maybe the biscuit could be taxed at 5%, the chocolate could be taxed at 12%. So at what tax rate do we tax such supplies? The highest tax rate in that supply will be the tax rate of the whole supply. Quoting another example, when you buy a big detergent packet, you usually get a bucket free along with it. So what do we see? There are two or more goods or services bundled together that is deliberately bundled and not naturally bundled. It is also capable of being sold separately. So the bucket can be sold separately and the detergent can be sold separately. Together they are forming one package for a single price. So such a supply will be a mixed supply. I hope you have understood the contents in this video. Thank you for watching.